A good Tuesday morning to you. We take a look over Grand Island with our NTV VR wireless camera network. Uh, pretty quiet traffic moving along pretty nicely. And you look at what we're expecting. Yes, it's going to be a chilly start to the day, low to mid 20s. But notice nice climb already 44 by one and we will keep climbing after that. The problem again today, it's going to be the winds. Notice they're out of the south. 25 to 30. It's going to be warm but windy these next two days. So very spring like for your Tuesday and Wednesday. And then it is right back to winter uh, Thursday. And we stay very much in winter all the way into early next week. Watching Thursday for kind of a wind driven snow event, which right now that system is just moving on to the West Coast. Yes, it is another significant moisture event for California. The last thing that they need right now. Uh, it is just incredible the problems they are facing with all this moisture. Now for us, by the time this system moves into our region, uh, we are going to be tracking the next push of cold air. Uh, so essentially what's going to happen is low pressure will move through the Dakotas and help force that cold front through. And then that system's moving out onto the plains. Now, how's it going to impact us? Obviously going to cool us down. Uh, but here we are early on Thursday and you'll notice looks to be a pretty significant snow event. Here's the thing, though. Uh, it is trending faster, uh, which is going to limit the accumulations. Right now, roughly, we're thinking around two to four inches uh, central to eastern areas. But it is also going to get very windy behind that front. So this is going to be one of those situations where maybe you don't pick up the most significant in the way of accumulating snowfall. But winds gusting 35 to 40 while the snow is falling it's going to be one of those that as the snow's coming down, it's going to cause us problems. Maybe for the first half of the day on Thursday. We'll watch it very closely. Keep updating you. Right now we're in the low 20s. Uh, you are sitting at 31 out in Ogallala as the warmer air is starting to move in. But it's already getting rather windy. 15 to 25 out of the south this morning. And they will stay strong throughout the day. But at least they bring in some warmer temps. Now again, your Wednesday is going to be very similar. A few more clouds, especially first half of the day, but it will be windy, it will be warm, and then everything will change as we head into Thursday. 54 for the high today in the Tri-Cities. A nice jump from what we had yesterday. A low tonight of around 35, and then tomorrow, even warmer at 65, maybe a touch less windy here in the Tri-Cities than what we'll have out there today. But this afternoon should be 50s and 60s. Lows tonight, pretty mild, still holding in the mid 30s for many of us. And how about how about some 70s on the map out west tomorrow, huh? That's going to be pretty decent. Doesn't last. Um, <laughs> I wish it did. I really do. We drop significantly after that, and it will be another cold stretch. Saturday especially looks very chilly um, at 31. Get the NTV First Alert weather app now. Weather comes at you fast. Get the information you need to keep safe. Stay ahead of the weather. Download the NTV First Alert weather app now.